Hello everyone. This is part two on conquering your fear and getting rid of the shyness that you may have when it comes to stepping out of your shell and making a video. Now this video is going to share, I'm going to share with you some tips, okay? And the first tip that I would like for you to share is to take a deep breath. <laughs> okay, because I know you're nervous, you know, and I know you're going to be nervous. It's okay, because I was nervous too. And honestly, sometimes I get nervous again, you know, all over again, and it's okay. So what I like to do is just take a deep breath. And just relax. You know, slow down everything. Because it's, it's okay and it's really easy. Just take a deep breath and slow everything down a little bit. Okay? Now the second tip I would like to share is to make sure that you keep eye contact with your viewer. Just as if we were talking face to face. And as you see, me holding my eye contact with you allows you to want to keep continue to listen to me and to keep informed and to stay in tune with what I have to say because I'm looking at you. Now ask yourself this, what if I was just looking around this way and and uh, you know just looking around and saying hi every once in a while and you know stuff like that you would more than likely not want to listen to anything else I have to say. But by me staying in tune with you and you staying in tune with me keeping eye contact we're both able to start to feel a sense of energy about one and one another okay and you're able to understand me more and and by me doing this you're also able to pay attention to me and that's what we want I want you to pay attention to me when I make a video so I'm gonna do everything I can that will enable you to pay attention to me and these same tips is what's gonna allow you to have the same amount of success when it comes to making your videos all right now and please do not another tip is to do not have a script okay a script would be me sitting here holding a piece of paper reading it and then looking up and saying it or, or holding it to the side or holding the piece of paper close by the camera to where I'm actually reading it but it may look like you know like I'm talking to you but I'm sure you saw videos like that people reading stuff Nah, you don't want that, because what do you think? It, it's fake. It's not being authentic, and it's not you, and that's what people want is you, okay? So keep the eye contact. Take deep breaths. Stay calm. You know, just talk as if we were talking face-to-face -face when you make your video, okay? And now it's okay, because I do myself sometimes, you know, create a, some type of an outline in my head that allows me to present with the valuable information that I'm presenting to you, okay, in order, you know, an outline, you know, you might, you might dissect this outline into maybe the, um, see, there I go, looking down and around, <laughs> no, but uh, the outline consists of like maybe the top three to five things that you pretty much want to say in the video, and that is your outline pretty much, and that's what an outline is, you know, so continuing to take a deep breath, you know, keeping your outline, be authentic, okay, be you, it doesn't matter, remember, it doesn't matter what you look like, and for all of those listening, it does not matter what you sound like, okay, as long as you're being you, I promise you, you will be okay, and you will grow, and continue to grow, and have the ability to make videos like it's nothing. Just like it, just like it was when you, you know, first started to learn how to tie your shoes or ride a bike. You know, you just keep practicing. Is what I'm trying to tell you. Just keep practicing, just like you did when you learned how to tie your shoes or ride a bike. You know, you fall, get back up, and you keep going. And that's what we did as a kid. So why can't we do it now as an adult? We can. Take care. At the end of this video, I always like to say thank you for those who leave comments on my videos and allow me to see who's really paying attention and to see the valuable information that others are getting through my posts and through my videos. So, as always, I would like for you to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video, whether it's on YouTube or on my blog, wherever it would be. And if you feel valuable, 
Share the value with your followers. Retweet this. Share this on Facebook. You know, social bookmark it. Okay? And I'd love to do the same for you. So until next time, continue to live abundantly. And I'll see you.